upgrade this phase possible. That's it, that's the one. Right, cool. So now we're going to look through, you've got a choice of three. That one's fairly happy, <laughs> as it's not supposed to be. You're upset in that one. This one, oh, you don't know what's going on. <laughs> so which one do you want, mate? We're going to send one. That looks terrifying. Do you want a terrifying Let's go for the terrifying one. Right, terrifying. And this is what you look like at the end of the day. That no one wants to come across a warrior like that. I look like I should be on some kind of government list. Oh god, that's terrifying! <laughs> Does it not actually play? Yeah, can oh. you hear it? I'll take can you get, get the mic next to the keys if you can? Welcome to After Show Party here on the first day of Eurogamer Expo 2013. I'm Jane, this is Mike. Hello. Andy over here. Hello. He's playing Grand Theft Auto 5, which will be our, our game of the day. It's game of all the days since it was out. Every day for forever. Game of all days yeah. ever. Onwards. Yeah, so this is After Show Party. Mike, what is After Show Party? After Show Party is us unwinding after a hard day's work at so the Eurogamer hard. Expo. Uh, and we're going to invite you to help us uh, have a bit of fun, unwind. Uh, we've got a hashtag, which is After Show EG, uh, which we'd like you to suggest uh, stuff for us to, to do in Grand Theft Auto 5. Yeah, Rampage so. GTA suggestions. Right, are exactly. Welcome. We're going to be just tooling around in the uh, in the open world. So if you if you want something you want us to try, um, just yeah, tweet us with that hashtag and yeah. we will give it a go. And questions about the show, if you're coming along on uh, Friday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday or Sunday, Sunday yeah. let us know about that. And uh, we're also accepting comments in the YouTube stream itself. So if you're watching on the mm. YouTube, on the, YouTube, on the YouTube, as my grandmother would say, <laughs> on the wireless the YouTube. Feel free to leave comments in there as well. Okay, Excellent. so cool. this is quite. Good. I'm playing with a mic in my hand. You're doing yeah. very well. I hope people realise that this is quite a quite a difficult task. Yeah, I shouldn't have given you the controller and the handheld mic. Hey, I can Andy, handle but, uh, it. This is you know, multitasking. Who says men can't fine. multitask? Hey. <laughs> this is video so, games. So what was the best thing you saw today on the first day of Eurogame Expo 2013? What was the best thing I saw? Uh, I'm, I'm still really enamoured with Call of Duty Ghosts actually. I know uh, in some sections of, of the audience it's a uh, it's an unpopular decision but um, I really really like the way it looks on Xbox One. Plays kind of like Call of Duty but it's very slick, very fast, running at rock solid 60 frames per second uh, and it's great that it's sort of the first time you can you can play it here in the UK. So. Is it both silky smooth 60 frames per second and a rock solid 60 frames it per is, second? It is, yes. <laughs> it's, a, it's a smooth rock, like you know how like, <laughs> you know, like, like a, a pebble, pebble on the beach. Been worn yeah, exactly. smooth, worn smooth by years but still of, hefty. Of the ocean's waves. You can still clobber someone to death. That's it. a box quote, right. you should put yeah. that on there. All right. Smooth like a pebble. Andy. Yes, Andy. I, I played Doom using a piano. Yeah, that um, was exciting. Which was pretty exciting. Yeah. Like, um, not a particularly great uh, control method for playing Doom if you want to do well at Doom. But um, yeah, it was pretty good. So they had some various sections of the keys were sort of linked up to. Uh, strafe, shoot. Yeah, strafe and shoot. And shoot was open on the uh, black keys. On the black keys, right. So um, we got fairly far. I found a key card, opened the door, all on a piano. So that was. Uh, yeah, you're on the, you're on the level of Doom where you have to go and collect all of the key cards and go back and forth and stuff, which made it more laborious maybe than it would have been yeah. had it been just the first level. I'm going to go to Trevor's airfield and get something to fly, but yeah. I can't be bothered to drive there, so I'm going to call a cab. Uh, right. Describe what you were going for when you when you created Hipster Trevor here. Well, I, I don't know if you can see this, but um, I've actually colour coordinated my shoe soles with uh, my hat and the shirt I here. I can see that, I can so, see that. What is the shirt? Is it like an arcade fire shirt under that plaid? Yeah, it's some uh, deeply ironic. It's probably ironic, actually. It's yeah. probably some band from the 70s. It's like a Wham t-shirt or something. Yeah, right, exactly. Okay, um, all right. There you go. So, no, uh, Hipster Trevor looks pretty good. Catching a cab doesn't seem like a very Trevor thing to do. Well, when I'm playing him, he catches a lot of cabs, to be okay. honest. Because, <laughs> I would uh, expect Trevor to just drop a grenade at his feet and blow himself into the next area. <laughs> like, Who's got time for all just that driving? climb into a trebuchet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like fling himself, himself across the map. More like a trebuchet, am I right? <laughs> oh. Yeah, right. Very good. Awful puns have started already and we're what, like... 
Can we five get a minutes counter? in. Seven. Is that something we can do? <laughs> seven minutes in. How about you, Jane? What did you see today? Well, I also played Dean Piano with, with less musical success, but equivalent in game success. You I shot think. a man and also I an shot exploding a man. barrel. I shot a man. And, uh, <laughs> and in the game, just to watch and him. And in the game. Yeah. Uh, uh, we also saw a little bit of Murdered Cell Suspect. Not the, not the game, but. Well, there's an amazing booth, isn't there? There's a, a good green screen gimmick. If you don't know Murdered Cell Suspect, the idea is that uh, you play a, a man's ghost Hipster who's detective. investigating mm. his own murder. So they've got a green screen, green screen gimmick, if you're coming to Eurogamer Expo, in which you can lie down and then stand up and then be photoshopped in yeah. as your own ghost and your own corpse. Mirroring uh, the sort of screenshot or yeah. the iconic artwork from the game, and which is the guy souvenir. standing over his own corpse. Yeah, yeah. so you get to give it to your mum. Your corpse. Be like, look, mum, this is what it would be like if I died <laughs> and came back <laughs> as a ghost. Make it a Christmas card this yeah. year. My mum does ask me that in the Christmas letter. She's like, what would it look like if you died yeah. and standing over your corpse? And I said, well, now I can say, look, it's this, mum. Yeah. Enjoy, happy Christmas. So Call of Duty also had a booth. That was quite good fun. Call of Duty did have a big black Still fortress does, I believe. at yeah. the back of the stand. Yeah. Yeah, but you could do a kind of photo, you could apply oh, your face to the thing. ghost's mask. Is that an iPhone app or a uh, iPad They app? were running it on the iPad, but is I don't thing, know if are it's gonna, available. Are they going to release that as a thing? I'm not sure. People were asking uh, if it was available. Well, <laughs> that photo of you putting on the mask got retweeted by the Infinity Ward uh, Twitter, yeah, which everyone has got saw my three most quarters creepy of a million face followers. that I can possibly pull. And, Let me have a go. Uh, oh, you want to go on the plane? I right. do want to go on the plane. And uh, yeah, a lot of people tweeting us asking if that's going to be a commercially available app. So, uh, Did I get any offers of dates? No? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> We're filtering them for uh, okay. eligible. Yeah, Thanks, guys. Video where we send you on dates. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. So, Jane, what are you going to do with this plane? Well, I'm, I'm going to attempt to fly it because uh, I, um, I've never done so before. This is a new Don't new fly it directly at the. Um, <clears throat> oh, okay. All right. How do I. <laughs> I'm going to pass this to you. Okay. Because I've literally not flown anything but a helicopter and a blimp. Let's, let's aim for the runway to start with. You do time uh, turns with, uh, runway? Right there, runway. If you want to be Runways conventional. Yeah, I do. You but you're really just heading off into the sunset there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So here right. we go. Get, yeah. Accelerator, well, got the rotor up. Landing gear. There you go. Landing gear up. Always going to remember the landing gear. It's like gear. Microsoft Flight Sim. It's it a really lot, lot like that. It's very similar, yes. I spent, actually played a lot of uh, the original San Andreas recently and uh, for a video. And there's a flight school thing, but it doesn't remind you to bring your landing gear up. So I kept wondering why I was slamming into mm -hmm. walls when I was supposed to be hitting like That's targets. Like flight school 101, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Well, they tell you to do it the first time, but then you do a load of other lessons uh, and it doesn't remind you. Cool barrel roll. Yeah, thanks, man. Feel loose. Uh, okay. Mm, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh the Gs. All the Gs. <laughs> Have you done the flight school in GTA? I've done all the bits except the helicopter stuff. There we go, back with the mic. So Andy's amazing. back on the mic. They make you do a, uh, a loop and then a kind of barrel roll out of the loop. At the oh, like an inverted loop, is, sort yeah, of thing. Is okay, so that's high. like up like that. All the way, all, all the way, way around. And then spin out of it here. Mm. Yeah, there you go. Amazing. That's pretty cool. All right, so where are you flying? Like a top gun. I don't know. Where should I fly? Should I try and fly under something? I feel oh, like yeah, flying under, under things. Is your left engine on fire? How does that happen? Oh, wait. Fault. <laughs> <laughs> was that when Jane crashed into a tree? Just yeah. regard that question. Yeah, okay. Maybe so it's, it's, it's listing a little bit to the yeah. left, I noticed. Well, uh, that might be bird strike, challenge. maybe a bird. Yeah. How realistic yeah, it's is this? Yeah, probably a pelican flew right into that engine. Yeah, I heard they like fire frozen turkeys into jet engines to test them what? for bird strikes. Did you not hear this? No. Because it's the ballistic equivalent yeah, of exactly. an actual yeah. bird flying into your engine well, at a thousand feet. Well, How I, solid are these birds? I'm pretty sure some, someone asked them whether it made a difference that it was frozen or not. You know frozen turkeys can't fly. I don't think regular turkeys can fly. <laughs> they do yeah. just w wander around, don't they, and scratch it. So what, they've oh, got a turkey cannon, they just fly Yeah, they launch, they have a turkey... Can you, can you someone fly Someone in the world the has manufactured a turkey... the Vinewood sign? I don't know. I don't think probably the scale not. works. Uh, <laughs> your, um, your left propeller isn't working at all, it's not turning. This is probably bad uh, news. Yeah. Probably so where is the Vinewood sign? Landing. It's probably over here. You're, you're in the Vinewood Hills. Yeah, so, I think. Um, uh, yeah, do a, just do a circle, round to your left. Like round here. Yeah, if you. That's do, the Hollywood Bowl. If you do left bumper, you do like a. Like this way. Yeah. Is it up here? It's there. You go. Oh, there we go. Oh, power! Right. I'm gonna have to do one of those crazy knife edge things. This is not going to work. No, I just, just wanna. Well, I, I was spoiler kidding. Alert. See, if the wings, the see if the wings break off and you just the, the chassis just goes straight. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh god, there's, going there's fences. Roll. Oh, it's yeah. going horribly wrong. Oh, wasted. First explosion. Wasted. All right, first so explosion. So we've we've had some uh, suggestions knife. from people. Okay. Uh -oh. They want What's us to go the to the army base, right. steal a jet, right. and survive. Okay. That's hard work. So if you look on the map, it's the. All right. Let's set ourselves a waypoint. It's Fort Zancudo, I think it's called. All right. I'm not entirely sure where it is. Take a look at this loading screen. That's pretty cool. 
See, that's what that's happens if you die. Uh-oh. There we go. There, there we, we go. go. Back in the game. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> your Hipster, Trevor's amazing. Hipster Trevor is amazing. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, if then. you don't have your Trevor looking like this, what is wrong with you? To be fair, though, he does look about 20 years younger. Yeah, like, it's a good look. That beard hides yeah. a multitude of <laughs> problems with this All face. Right so, right, so it's up in the... Up in the, in the sticks. Yeah. Where are we going? Where so are we going? keep an eye it's out It's quite close to the airfield, isn't it? Fort Zancudo. Or maybe um, someone can Google it for us and find out where it is. Mm. Oh, wait. Is that something Zancudo? Actually, yeah. Ah, here we go. That's where it is. All right. So head over there. All right, we're going on a road trip. You Ooh. punch that air. Yes, excited <laughs> for the road trip. Can you just get a cab <laughs> into the military base? I'm, <laughs> I'm a firm believer in cabs. All right. All right you're going to drive. I believe they what exist too. What I like too. about this car oh. is that it was here. Oh, Trevor. Have you seen the one where he like just Dude. slams the forehead on the uh, steering on the wheel? On the steering wheel. Isn't, isn't, that, that, isn't that a classic GTA takedown? That's yeah. Like, Cracking them right. again. It'd be great if like the airbag popped out. One of them. Oh That'd yeah. Really good. And you have to, to get like, on that rock star. You have to like bundle to it back there. down yeah. to drive over it. All right. Okay. Okay. We're going up to the port. We're going to seal the jet. I'm not actually trying. Oh, James. Was that the guy <laughs> you just? <laughs> was that him fleeing this? Thing? Yeah. Oh god. She that probably. She probably wanted wanted it that she way. She probably wanted to do. Didn't want to live without her jeep. Yeah. Probably. Okay. This is not accurate because every jeep I've seen in California has yeah. at least one surfboard poking out over the top of the of the rear bar thing. Mm -hmm. You want to ride to Rockstar and tell them. I'm, I'm just making a list of all the things wrong with this game. You have a wanted star. It's a really now. short list. Oh no! Act of vehicular homicide. No. That you just committed. No. Heinous act. Committed. This is a world with consequences, Jane. You can't run from them. <laughs> I hate consequences. Real can, life's for consequences. You can run from them. Oh, I should have taken that right round. Can I'm going to have to do a oh. Yui. That is very much a driving Trevor America experience. Like, oh, I should have taken that ramp. <laughs> just, uh, just ramp over so the real. central divide. So real. It's exactly like real right. driving. There you go. There you go. So um, did anyone see anything else today that they thought looked cool or interesting? I chatted to Dan Greenwalt of Forza fame. Forza. Now, if you're not into racing games, that probably doesn't interest you. But uh, for me, it was very exciting. What uh, did he say? He, they've announced a couple of new tracks. One is the Alps track from Forza Motorsport 4, which was quite good, very pretty, uh, set in snowy. Switzerland, I believe. Yeah, very snowy. Um, although not on the actual road surface. So there's still okay, no so like slidey. slippy surfaces or anything. Okay. Uh, and Silverstone, which is a obviously a British favourite. So it's good that they kind of waited to announce that here, which is quite nice. That's cool. Um, uh, and they, they do a crazy laser scanning thing of the circuit where they take a bunch of lasers and get a very detailed map of like the asphalt and all that stuff. Okay, and That makes cool. it super realistic for me. So. Lasers, you say? Yeah, lasers. Who would have thought a racing game would involve lasers? <laughs> Just, um, I would play it if you had lasers like on your car. Yeah, I know you would. Amazing. Yeah. But Are they um, going to add that maybe as DLC? Did he hint at that? Is I that what he was hinting at? I don't think was that's he his whole deal. Theatrically while he was saying he it? did get very excited. If you you see the video when I when I put it up, um, he gets very excited when he says lasers. He does a little like <laughs> almost Dr. Laser. Evil style laser like, hands, excitement laser hands thing. Well, that's so. pretty cool. Okay, uh, you also spoke to the uh, as we we're saying the Call of Duty community yeah, manager, Tina. She's Tina. lovely. Um, yeah, so we were chatting about various things, including. Uh, Obviously, the fact that the, the game's been rated a, a 16 in Europe. Yeah, that's interesting, because presumably you still shoot people in the face. Yeah, apparently that's fine for 16-year-olds now. But Although I guess okay. you can join the army when you're 16. That right? is oh, true. No, cow. Oh, she so just killed a cow. <laughs> it's fine. Was it on the road? Yeah, well, okay, it's so the cow's it's, fault. It's the cow's I mean, fault. Right, okay. There's not a court in the land that we can... You <laughs> me on those grounds. <laughs> the cow wanted to die. Yeah. It's your honour. Okay. Um, You'd be glad to know I no longer have a wanted star. And it's much more relaxing being wanted when you can't hear the sound, because there's no good. sirens. <laughs> yeah. Does oh, hitting a cow reduce oh, the wanted boat? level? Is it like a... Yeah, yeah. yeah that was a wanted cow. There's, there's a bovine cull on, a on the moment because of... that cow's head. Head. If you get in that truck with the boat, yeah. you can pretend you're delivering the boat to the military port. Mm. I don't... Do, is that the kind of boats that the military yeah. are well, into? They'll, they'll be like, What's, what are you doing here with this boat? And you go, speedboat for the general. Yeah. And they go, well, yeah, that does sound like something the general would enjoy. Break into the, um, yeah. break into the uh, army base and attract it, why not? <laughs> okay, all right. Shall I switch, switch cars? Okay, switch the tractor. That's the tractor. All right. It could be like... Oh, it just turned off. Damn combination. Traffic. It's like a combination farm yeah, simulator. We'll and oh, there's another. Oh, there's another tractor. There's oh, another the tractor. Red tractor. There's a bounty red of tractors. Tractors go faster. This place is just tractor central. <laughs> Much like. How is how is that tractor like outdoing me? I, yeah, I know. That's a good That's question. That's like a damning indictment of your driving skills. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm flooring it. I'm honestly flooring it. Right. Okay. Whoa. Oh. Ignore oh, that. Producer James. That was James. Oh, where's my tractor Hi, gone? Now I've lost my tractor. I feel like we've been distracted here. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. Back, get on, back, back on track. On target. All right. Back on oh. steel. Oh no! <laughs> you boulder. mounted the. Uh, that the rock. boulder was my target. <laughs> I'm sorry. Were you not clear? Oh, oh, you're about to eat my coyote now. Or something. It's, it's a coyote. coyote. It's fine. All right. Shoot it with the grenade launcher. Where'd it go? Shoot the coyote with the grenade launcher. Hang on, hang on, hang on. 
Oh god. No! No, that was. <laughs> oh, no, no! Oh my god. You're on fire. You're on fire. No, cover! No. The best one of the lot. <laughs> oh, okay, no more. No more grenading coyotes. Yeah, well, you better run. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I would definitely run if that man ran towards me with a grenade launcher. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to get to the military base. Yeah. Be like, don't you run that vintage record store downtown? Yeah. <laughs> you hipster. All right. All right. Oh, back on track. Wood paneled station wagon. This uh, isn't a breaking this is into worse a military than the Jeep. Fork. Yeah, it really not is. as good as the tractor would have been. Looks like there's another tractor up ahead. Yes. This is quite a sedate journey. Yeah. I mean, relatively it's speaking. Calm. I mean, you do so still have two. Uh, you have two star ones at level. Oh no. Because of the grenade launcher. <laughs> that you. It's just a coyote, you guys. Did. I mean. They're not really people, are they? No. Or anything, so no, they probably like being great. Hetter would disagree. <laughs> yeah. Has anyone asked the coyotes? Right. It's so Andy, fun. you've been up to the over 18s area. The over 18s area for the first time at Eurogamer. Is it full of smut, man? It's so all it's the like the top shelf. People making everything out. you can Euro imagine. Gamer Expo. So it used to be in a big white fortress of solitude. Yeah. <laughs> and now hardly it's solitude. Fortress I, of a million really people. I don't really want to wind my way down this, so I'm just gonna. <laughs> oh, what you oh, should do it. is go back to Trevor's airfield, get a helicopter, oh. and then skydive into the military base. And then okay. they won't be able to well, detect you. <laughs> you just kick the door off. You're moving the goalpost now, Andy. Yeah, well, I'm just, I'm just coming up with strategies because, I mean, it's okay. a military base. Oh. I don't this looks exactly like that bridge from Beetlejuice where they die. Oh, yeah, where they die in Beetlejuice okay. or around the bridges of Madison That's County. not really a spoiler. Oh. It, it, it's point. not a spoiler. It happens in like the, whole, the first yeah, the whole 10 point minutes of Beetlejuice. Of Beetlejuice. Is that okay. they're ghosts. So what I wanted to know <laughs> right, was yes. about the over 18s area because I have not actually been up there. I've yes. been all over the, the, the ground level. That's cool. They've got a bunch of... Um, uh, playable stuff up there. Titanfall is up there, <gasps> and obviously Titanfall. that is. If you're coming to the show, Titanfall, Titanfall. is something you should definitely make time yes. to play because and make time to get there early because the queue is yeah, it's pretty big. Enormous. But if uh, you saw our overexcited video from is this Gamescom, mm. a working camper, can it we is. Cook yeah. some meth in it. All? I know. <laughs> the C oh, they, wait, there's an ATV. Get that. That's better. Oh, I know. oh it handles like a get the ATV. Get the like ATV. An, okay, like an arthritic shopping trolley. Guys don't seem that bothered. Maybe this isn't yeah. theirs. <laughs> well. They've noticed the grenade launcher, so they're keeping quiet. Yeah. Here we go. So Titan falls up there. About. Assassin's Titanfall, Creed, yeah. uh, four black flag. They've mm -hmm. got um, playable, playable that up there. Uh, people doing the uh, ship combat. So that's cool. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Go. I found that really challenging. It's really interesting when we played it at Gamescom. I found the ship stuff really challenging, and you breeze through it. And then I think you found like some of the combat a bit challenging. And yeah, then, like, I forget. I, I forget how to counter, and yeah. then I just get stabbed a lot. It's the um, the heavy guys with the big axes. Yeah, um, although they claimed that the, the combat system had been tweaked so it was less counter heavy. That was the case in Assassin's Creed Three, right? Yeah. But, um, well, yeah, I think um, people are getting a chance to play that, so that'll be interesting. Um, mm. Also, they got uh, some other Ubisoft stuff up there. Watch Dogs is up there. I'm so, um, so hyped for Watch Dogs. I know we've got a giant open world, which is really exciting and stuff, but I really like the kind of modern paranoia kind of theme of, uh, of Watch Dogs, so I'm really, really excited about that. I hope it delivers. Yeah, so that's cool. Um, Not far from where we are here in the in the press area the, is the Oculus Rift stand. Mm. I saw that getting a mega queue yeah. first thing this morning. Yeah. Virtual reality is is the other next gen, it seems, basically. Right. It's very, very exciting. Do you and know what they're, sh they're showing off on it here? I'm not sure which if demos they are, but every single thing I've seen on the Oculus Rift has been hugely impressive. Even if the graphics aren't great. <laughs> what? Wow. What? Why? Did you just drive by a deer? <laughs> Why did you drive by that deer? <laughs> <laughs> on that an ATV. A, that was a drive-by, South Central style represent. Uh, where is this base, guys? Did you did you lose your waypoint? Oh, well, the waypoint was just set for the general area. Is this okay, well, this, this is, is the, this oh, is the right. fence. Yeah, Here we so. go. You want to find a way in. With there planning. is a front door you can go in. Well, um, that that's a bit ridiculous for a military base. It's got guards on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not just the front it's door. It's just a door. You can just <laughs> saunter All right. in. Uh, it's, I think it's that way. All right. Yeah. Is this you, way? I, I would not run, run if I were you because it's massive. Oh. So I'd stay on the ATV. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, head all back right. that way. What it needs is like a really convenient ramp shaped rock just next to it. Yeah, so you can ramp over A natural yeah. formation. Yeah, exactly. Just, just so happens. Wedge shaped rock. Yeah, like a bluff. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at helicopter. Is that a helicopter taking off? Oh, oh, yes. oh yeah. Can, it's I it? can you hit it with a grenade launcher, please? All right, okay, okay. Shoot it, shoot it. Come here, come here. All right, all right, all right, all right. right, right. Get, grenade get, launcher, grenade launcher. Sniper 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 sniper. Uh, shoot the pilot. Okay, okay, okay. Can you do that? Okay. I don't. Oh, wow, this looks hard. Can zoom, you zoom in, in. Zoom it in. On the stick? Yeah. Oh. No! They're wise to you. It's showing it's not so soft underbelly at you. Did you just shoot the rear engine out? I would like that. It's smoking. I think you did it some damage. And yet no one's noticed. Yeah, <laughs> no one's man wanted. with a sniper rifle taking pot shots <laughs> like, outside a military base. As usual. As usual. <laughs> yeah. Alright. 
Toast of the Undead wants to know if we saw Loco Cycle and what do we think of it. Haven't I seen it. Haven't seen it yet. Yeah. No. We should go and check that out. Is that over on the Xbox? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, it's uh, Twisted Pixel, the guys who made the Gunstringer, uh, which is a very reasonably successful Kinect game. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, Xbox One and Xbox 360. Loco Cycle. Um, haven't played it yet. It looks quite rudimentary, like graphically, which surprised me. Ow. Yeah. But, um, oh no. I mean, we'll they're the guys who made Explosion Man. Yeah. Um, and that was really good. Um, what was yes. it? Uh, comic. Jumper? Comic Jumper, yes, yeah. the, the forgotten twisted picture. Right. So they're, re they're really good developers. So Can yeah. I like, social stealth my way in if, uh, if, if I take the sniper rifle? Yeah, right, if you go, I'm delivering this sniper rifle. Uh, what? Who ordered the sniper rifle? <laughs> Who ordered the grenade launcher? So I heard an amazing story about Twisted Pixel, right, which was that the pitch meeting for the Gunstringer, they basically had a meeting with Microsoft in a Mexican restaurant, and they had no idea for a game, but they realised <laughs> that they had an opportunity to... Um, to I was hoping to jump on it <laughs> like a cool guy. <laughs> that was still cool. I, think, still I don't think anyone cool. saw it. You sold right, it right. out. It's fine. <laughs> So right. the Gunstringer was invented in a Mexican restaurant because they didn't have an idea for a game. So they just went to the bathroom and it had all this Mexican art. And they were like, well, it's a game about a cowboy in kind of Mexico. Here we go, here we go. So I guess we're lucky we didn't get urinal yeah. man. Pretty, pretty good, yes. yeah. They came back from the bathroom. Okay. Take a left, right. take a left. Take we, left, are, take left. we are four left. stars all right. now. All right, find the hanger. Hanger, hanger, right. Round, round to the right, round to the right. Okay. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, drive down here and take a right. Don't one of those concrete things, though. Take a right. Truck full of army men. Go, go, go. Right. Okay. All right. Okay. Take a right. Take a right. Take a right. Take a right. Yeah. There's. Yeah. I'm getting conflicting information. There, left, left. Left. Look for the hanger. There. 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 On the right. This one. No, left, this one. Left. 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 Oh, this guy. Yes. There we go. Oh, oh, no. No. All right. Sadly, the defensive right. uh, outer shell of an ATV was not so useful. I'm going to take the, um, right, the parachuting on. in. Let me be your mic stand. Okay, thanks. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. So we should check out uh, Local Cycle because Swiss Pixel actually. Um, I've been, I've enjoyed some of their games in the past. So. They know Connect pretty well, mm, right? And they, they, the thing about the Gunstringer was, it sort of played to Connect's strengths, I think, which is the way to do it. You know, Connect isn't a sort of save all panacea for like motion control, but if you use it properly, it can be really good fun. So. Yeah, I like it for vo voice controls. I use it a lot in Mass Effect. Um, That's going to be the new the new deal, isn't it? Yeah. And you know, whether, whether you like Connect or not, I do think the fact that it's going to be with every single Xbox One does mean that people will use that stuff more. You know, yeah. will use the strengths of Connect um, in their games rather than feeling coerced into it. Right, I'm getting cab. That's how this nice. is going. It's free rock and roll. Do you think they'd wave a cab into the military base? Do they just go, yep. Yeah. I guess so. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> military business. Yeah. Well, totally, totally I Classified right Tolga. Yeah. They had um, the Shadow Warrior remake is up in the over 18 section. I've not really seen anything about that, but. Um, I worry because the, the first one was kind of. Hugely racist. Yeah. Well, I was going to say a product of its time, but hugely racist. Kind of a little bit too yeah. racist. <laughs> yeah. Um, be, um, like I said, I haven't seen that, but I'd be interested to see I mean, how they've updated that. I assume they have. I, yeah, I suspect it'll just be almost Ooh, my cab. a complete remake. What else is up there? Um, like I said, everyone who's coming, make sure you check out Titanfall. The mm. um, they've got Battlefield. Battlefield up there as well, Four. Which how many, apparently how looks many players are it. they doing? Uh, I don't know. If it's anything like the one at. Um, there you go. It's 32 players on Conquest. Hey, 32 Change players on Conquest. All right, that's pretty cool. So um, I, I heard rumours there's a new map as well that they're showing off. Mm. We're, we're hearing Ian. Ian, who's yeah, jumping Ian. on Euro shortly. Gamer, uh, yeah. Yeah, like, You're a game of YouTube editor, Ian. Tell us what they have. Disembodied voice. They've got a new map, I can't remember the name, but they do have 32 players playable, and they're doing conquest mode and obliteration mode. So and obliteration mode. Oh, obliteration mode is really, really good fun. We played that at Gamescom. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to say that for a bit? I'm going to steal this one. OK. Um, Someone, Tempest Hobnob, is asking, are we able to use the Xbox One controller here, guys? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, on several games, actually, uh, including Battlefield 4, I believe. Uh, and also Call of Duty Ghosts. So definitely those two, you'll be able to get a feel for it. Uh, we we have mixed opinions about it, right? I, mm. I'm a real fan of the new controller because you can do stuff like roll onto the shoulder buttons. So the, the bumpers, you can roll off the trigger onto them. Whereas Jane found that the way she plays, that yeah. doesn't work for you, right? Well, that's the story, that, that the way the it's shoulder buttons are hinged now, you should be able to roll onto them. Mm. But I, I thought they were a bit sort of spongy oh, feeling, but that's because that's not how I use them. I'm yeah. a bit more like, like deliberate pressing, yeah. pulling on the, that's my, the mime uh, for shoulder buttons. bigger handed friends are saying that it's, it's harder for them to-, to I'm imagining this, this <laughs> gang of people with giant with fat hands. hands. Are you saying I have enormous hands? <laughs> Because you I do. Got hands <laughs> me. Like steam shovels. <laughs> I think what we can agree on is that the force feedback's incredible. Oh, yeah. Like yeah, the, the rumble, the rumble awesome. on the triggers is so, so good. So good. It's almost a full body experience. Do you send your hands. questions on Twitter, by the way, to the hashtag AfterShowEG as well, because I'm watching this on my Xbox branded 
green, green uh, tablet, tablet device. case. Yes. yes. And yeah. I've got the, uh, the the YouTube comments going here as yeah, well. We've got Ian. 55 people watching at the moment. Hello, Hi. everyone. Hi, Hello. Hello, all 55 of you. Thanks for joining. Enjoying this skillful graphic Some fabulous flight. Yeah. You're making good time to the military base. Yes. Yeah. Shame yeah. they don't uh, respawn you inside the military hospital. Oh yeah. You know, well, under military arrest, handcuffed to a gurney. Yeah. A lot of people were quite impressed about how chaotic you were, how much carnage you caused. Well, I was—I I, I aim to be in character. If I had been playing Michael, it would have been a lot more oh, yeah. collected. I'm yeah. sure it would have been. I probably wouldn't have uh, sniper rifled anyone. <laughs> All right. All right. This is, is this the, is this the military base then? Oh, is it right there in that middle thing down there? Or? Where are we looking? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's the tower. Stars. That's the Mercury. Yeah, everyone is alerted. Oh, oh wow, you got oh oh my God. God. Oh, there's anti aircraft missiles. Oh. I should, should have said. <laughs> yeah, should have said. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, you might, might have said. Right. Leave that as a surprise. Anti aircraft I will missiles. Bail out the second I'm over. Yeah. Right, then they won't get me. And then they'll shoot you while you parachute leisurely out of the sky. Anti aircraft, not anti Trevor missiles. Uh, okay. Can you release chaff and flares from your. From Trevor. From Trevor. From Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Probably, knowing Trevor, <laughs> <laughs> he's so do. full of drugs, um, he can do both those things. He's releasing the sawdust. <laughs> sure. right. How are we doing for time? We're good, we've got we're about good. half an hour left. All right, Amazing. Amazing. Oh, I wonder, I feel like I'm hogging the sofa. Like maybe we should uh, Talk someone in. switch in. Uh, Ian, do you have to go? I can, I can slide in there. All right. If you, if you, uh, Come along. All right. And Jane, are you going to man the YouTube comments? Yeah, I am. Or woman man the cool. Is womaning right. things a verb? I keep pressing refresh to get the new comments up. Oh, like magic. Yeah. Seamless. <laughs> I've transformed. Okay, so you right, getting a cabin? Time, this time it's helicopter and then bail out thinks I'm over there. If you're yeah. high enough, maybe the missiles can't reach you, or maybe you'll see them coming or something. That's true. If I get super high and then bail out. <laughs> I've if never I managed get super it. high and then bail out. Okay, this is gonna work. Started. If you can do it you get you know. Kudos, because sweet. yeah, every Imagine time I've tried it, driver chat is like, so where are you going today? Military base. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stealing a jet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sounds sounds normal. Sounds like a regular thing to do. Have you guys been up uh, Mount Chiliad yet and seen uh, the weird kind of alien a sort of markings? Like, and yeah, stuff. yeah. I've heard about this. Yeah, there's there's um, kind of hieroglyphs hidden underneath a wooden board up the top there. Oh, wow. What are they? Know what they say? Well, there's the, there's a map that kind of shows almost like an underground structure in Mount mm. Chiliad. I don't know if it's been worked out oh, yet. Oh, I heard about this. Um, like, the, you, like the mountain's hollow. Yeah, mm. yeah. Right. So I don't know whether you'll be able to, whether people have found out how to get in there or not. But people were suggesting maybe you could apply that map to the uh, to the map that we we'd see, uh, you know, when you hit the, the start button or whatever, mm. and whether it applies to the sort of countryside bit and oh, okay. can be transposed because there are other UFO markings and locations and things around the map yeah. where you can actually see UFOs. So yeah, really, really interesting stuff. It, it kind of reminds me of what uh, Treyarch do with the zombies mm. stuff. They always yeah. have like secrets and kind of mm. Easter eggs. And you know, this is a game they've been working on for five years. I'm sure they could come up with some pretty good conspiracy theories. Yeah, there's a, 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 allegedly there is an alien frozen in the ice in the very first prologue bit before it goes open world. Oh, when you're, really? when yeah. you're being chased, you um, there's a bridge, one of the bridges you go over. If you go underneath, there's an alien frozen in the ice there. And then, um, quite wacky for a game that you know, reasonably, plays it reasonably straight, you know. It's the kind of stuff you'd expect from the original mm. San Andreas more than... I've, I've found this is more comical than GTA 4. Oh, yeah, which is, yeah, yeah, so... I think that was one of the criticisms <laughs> people had. Mm. Yeah, I really do feel like they're taking it on board, and, and I, I think that also reflects in the, in the kind of missions. There's a lot of, like, chauffeuring people around in GTA mm. 4, whereas in this, pretty much every mission has some kind of unique mechanic or something interesting about it that, yeah. that makes it different, which is, is the, the great triumph. The thing that really I was really happy with is the kind of going on, like, dates or going out with your mates is uh, it's not forced on you anymore you yeah. can do it yourself and that, that was one of my biggest yeah. things about GTA people 4 people don't get having to with stop you the you action and go play darts yeah. like, yeah. awesome. alright we've got a question coming in from Lockload100 who says uh, what did you think of Dead Rising 3 I loved it was surprised at how good the frame rate was who right. saw Dead Rising 3 so uh, we haven't actually headed over there yet but I was talking to a few guys on the floor and they were all super impressed I think the frame rate was the, the biggest worry with Dead Rising 3 right I mean like when we've seen it at E3 and Gamescom, it's looked a little bit shaky, and I was worried it wasn't going to make it, but actually, sounds like they've tightened that stuff up. Uh, people seem really excited about it. Also, uh, Dying Light, actually, uh, the other sort of big zombie game that's playable on the show floor, uh, it's getting really good feedback as well, which, given that uh, Techland have a, a reputation for a rough and ready um, zombie games, it's kind of cool that uh, people are really, really enjoying that and, and getting involved. 
Have, have you had a go on it yet? Yeah. Di um, Dying Light? Not yet, although they released a really, really good gameplay video, um, which I watched through. It was like 12 minutes of really solid stuff. Um, and the kind of free running Mirror's Edge style stuff, it's not as good as Mirror's Edge, but it, it does the job, and that looks really, really exciting. I love the way you can come in and do a proper like wrestling style drop kick to a zombie's face. Sweet. Which is, I mean, De De Dead Island was all about the, the sort of uh, kicking zombies about thing. Mm. They learned that from Riptide because they gave that guy that massively powerful <laughs> yeah. kick. It says that says awesome zombies the fly, yeah, kick, yeah. cartwheeling like 100 feet in the air. Um, so they've, they've kind of clearly taken that stuff to heart mm. at least. Am I missing an obvious jet? Or I don't know. Maybe. You've done pretty good holding off four star wanted level for this time. It's because you're disguised well. in a jeep maybe. Yeah, they Where think I'm one of them. Uh, um, uh, I don't know where the entrance is. There, there are, there, that, there's there are one. These landing pads. I can see the tail of it just straight, keep going straight ahead. Amazing. Oh, We're going to do this, tail. guys. Oh, oh, bailed out. Oh, maybe a bit oh, early. No. Peppered in the spine. That is a handsome shovel beard you've got going Thanks, on yeah, there. Like Get into cover. Hammer the Y button. <laughs> into the thing. Come on. Jet. Right, you've got to uh, escape now. I, it's a New really voice. long process of getting inside. He has to kick it the top no. inside. Oh, wow. Uh, no Trev. Just as I was right. playing Danger Zone in my head. What have you done to him? Yeah. Tre Trevor is dead. Alright, I'll give that one more go. Alright. People at home, you believe in me, right? Everyone. We believe in you. Okay. So, one request Ooh, we have had. Hello there. Hi, Sam Clay. Hi there. Sam Clay from VGC. Um, the Atomic Blimp. Oh, oh yeah. People want to see it. Okay, right. I will take the blimp over to steal the thing. The yeah. The that. Nintendo freaks okay. want to see it. Oh really? It's, it's, it's one guy, but <laughs> it could be a girl. <laughs> well, but uh, you know, it could be two people. Could be, could be, could be, could be a group of people <laughs> sharing one YouTube account, but you know, we'll find out. Do you just dial in a blimp? Is that how it works? That is how it works. So my DLC, Hi, I got, I got the same um, DLC. No uh, if I install the DLC sir, into my Xbox hard drive, Grand Theft Auto 5 won't run. It well, only runs if I don't have that DLC. Really? Have you Microsoft tried clearing your cache three times? I've, and I've cleared my cash. Because Rockstar hates you. Spun in three circles, rubbed my belly in. Isn't that, the, isn't that the fabled Tomb Raider <laughs> naked code? <laughs> it is. Um, well, Trevor got naked. It was what Yeah. Not something he gets naked again. all the time. Right. He does. I've definitely yeah. seen a bit of sack. Yeah, I must admit. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> a bit of sack. Um, right. So check check this out. I've got a I've got a trophy in my hand, which is uh, something we're doing tomorrow at 5 p.m. at the show floor um, on the on the stage where the developer sessions are. Uh, we're having a Spelunky uh, speedrun spectacular, basically a, a contest in the platform game Spelunky. Uh, see who is the fastest to get to the end of the mines level. So if you're at the show tomorrow, please do come along and either spectate or preferably participate because we are, I'd like to say 90% non-judgmental um, about people's skills or lack oh, thereof absolutely. at Spelunky. Yeah. But you could win this amazing trophy, which has very little to do with Spelunky. We'll work something out, we'll work out an excuse for why this is to do he's, he's throwing a bomb. That's well, there you go, like, oh. bomb throwing skills, right? It, that makes sense. To, to the untrained eye, it looks like a bubbles trophy. Um, but uh, but yeah, all right, come along and win this amazing bit of tat, um, or just we'll just watch the uh, watch the live stream if you're not at the show tomorrow. So okay. I'm at the racetrack, which is where my blimp is. Parked. Okay. Oh, there it is. That Naturally, is where that's where you park a blimp, obviously. So I didn't even. How do I, how do I not know that there's a racetrack in this game? Oh, it's it's a bit out of the way. It's if you see where I am on the map. It's uh, just uh, up here yeah, on got the you. side. Got you. Okay. That's cool. All right. Oh, it's like a. It's a it's tractor like racing. <laughs> it's a it's a horse race racing track, like Kentucky Kentucky Derby oh, style yeah. horse racing track. That's why it's being combed by a tractor. Good Not for long though. Oh so, wow, he was just doing his job. Yeah, well, he did it. <laughs> 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 so, now, so we've had a quite good question come in. Trev, come on. As as you Keep ruin Trevor's life. Um, question coming in from Lockload One Hundred. What should I go to see first tomorrow? Titanfall, Call of Duty, Ghosts, or Rise? Timefall. Timefall. Time Timefall. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's. I think, I think the keys are going to be big for that. Yeah. Yeah. Call of Duty Ghost is is really good, but it's it's good in a kind of very pin sharp sort of Call of Duty way. Like you you know what you're getting with with Call of Duty Ghost, whereas Timefall I think is is dramatically different. I saw um, a lot of people running for Call of Duty this morning, and there was a part of me thinking actually they should be running for something new and interesting and a bit. Well, they were running for a free prestige. Well, they were. <laughs> and they, you know. That was it was like new and different or free order. 90 pound, 100 pound. I think it's like 180 pound. What do you get in that one? What That's you get the camera. Oh, mm. spy equipment. The, the crazy camera. camera. Mm. They had that get weird that, video. At get them, that thing it? on eBay. Oh, the uh, breach guys. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, yeah. very, very strange. 
Um, so yeah, that's why they were sprinting. Although it was hilarious because the security guards told them to slow down. So they did this kind of like frustrated speed walking instead, which looked amazing. Um, the best part of the show. Yeah, pretty much was, yeah. Screw all these playable games on the show floor. Uh, yeah. it was and, we are in a, and you can see that speed that speed run on uh, VG247? Yes, I, I, oh, really? do you know what, it's I got caught up in it, yeah, no, I nearly had my camera like knocked out my hands, it wasn't the greatest part of my day. I was sat up watching the flames yeah, yeah, you, coming you were in sat, and Sam sat was sat in back the with a tripod, <laughs> like, e easy living your life, and I, I nearly get you, well, you taken out. You one of those cameras like mounted down on the ground, so you could see them all rushing towards you, but like this mm. sort of running of the bulls. In yeah, yeah that's, that's what I, yeah, I should have just stuck a GoPro to my face. And then you could just hear this like, and then everyone came up really close. Is it like that bit where Mufasa dies? In it, the, in the it was, it was. No lions were hurt in the uh, making Never forget. of the video. Check out this sweet blue sound <laughs> that's got going on right here. Wow, that is beautiful. Are you going to skydive all the way yes. down? Yes. Oh, is, wow. This is that is a vista. Right. <laughs> <laughs> See, Andy's played the game for long enough that he's got the parachute every time he gets into a, an air vehicle. Yeah, it's just a regular handy. parachute, though. I don't get fancy coloured smoke or anything. So oh. I'm going to have to buy it from him. Right. Have any of you guys actually completed this yet? No, I think I'm pretty close. Um, I'm about 50% through, I think. Yeah, but then, I mean, is that full completion, so like doing everything? No, that's just story. Yeah. I've kind of okay. been skimming the side missions and cool. trying to do a bit of the, the, the main missions. Yeah, there's, um, there's some of the side missions are quite fun, actually. I've been enjoying... Um, Trevor has to find like celebrity items for an elderly couple. Oh, I've seen that yeah. on the crazy British yeah, couple. Fun. Um, yeah, I just <laughs> had that last night. And I was just <laughs> like, what the hell? Um, the funniest thing I did before I left for Eurogamer was um, my brother told me that you can get in a jumbo jet. I didn't believe him yes. until I actually did it. And then like taking off is a nightmare. <laughs> Landing it is even more of a nightmare because you're trying to you have to find a runway that's big enough. Yeah. And yeah. like early on in the game, you get a small. You get that like one in the desert that's not yeah, so not, big. Not yeah, no, not not made for a massive <laughs> like jumbo jet. So I'm landing this thing and I think it was everything's fine like landed it we was on the ground and it just exploded <laughs> so I was like oh, oh it took so much effort well, to get it up you know that I, think I think that's the military base there I think so. oh mean, amazing yeah. go you on can, okay <laughs> 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 flamboyant <laughs> there's no there's, there's no, no parachute, there. parachute. I don't have a parachute <laughs> that's how Trevor does everything oh, just well. so ah. this parachute yeah I'm pretty sure I was supposed to have a parachute <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, so I, 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 I oh have really? faith in Trevor's ability to start this. <laughs> Are there no any swimming way. pools or anything you so can land in? <laughs> this might be the greatest <laughs> thing I've ever seen. Trevor, come on Trevor, I believe in you. <laughs> can you land on the jet? Maybe if you can come smash on. through the canopy into oh. the jet. They won't be expecting this approach. I just <laughs> 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 so they're just there doing their marching across the military base. <laughs> so their body just slams into the ground. Into a jet <laughs> and off. Come on Trevor, come on Trevor, you can do it. You can roll this out, right? Yeah, 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 aim for the hangar, aim for the hangar. Come on Trevor. <laughs> Come on, Trevor. No, 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 no. Oh, Trev. Oh. oh all right, I'm going to hand it over to someone else. Because right. I apparently can't do this. Go on, Ian. So. I just want to um, I want to do the... Uh, this is my favourite thing uh, with uh, Grand Theft Auto, is the it's Skyfall not... cheat. Oh, OK. Yeah, do you know it off by heart? Yeah, then? I do. Oh, I do it all the time. I love it. Okay. I just oh, that's basically what I just, what I just did. What you just did, <laughs> but there is a, a knack to actually landing it and not dying. OK, can oh, you like... You go vertically straight down, so you'd think that would actually kill you the most. Yeah, <laughs> kill you the most. It actually kills you the most. Degrees of This guy is completely 100% dead. Then, yeah, you just... Can you sort of land on some water and just skim across like a stone? I've not tried it, but that might be quite awesome. All right, let's go. So it's LB... LB, LR, LB, no, LB, LR, LB, LB. Oh, I killed it! How did I kill it? What? Sorry, I must have done the insta kill cheat, sir. What happened? Oh. I was too busy looking. I was looking at my joy. That's amazing. All right. Okay. Oh, well, I, I can do. Ooh. Is that in the Ooh. game or are they just really tired? Oh, oh there we go. There we go. I cool. activated it late. So, oh no, it's you good. guys play uninverted. You mean correctly? No. <laughs> ah, you're outnumbered now, Andy. The non inverts are oh, taking over. I'm nowhere near the army base. I was hoping I could um, get into so, the. No, so, show me this. You, do you want this cheat for those who don't know what it is? Okay, the Skyfall cheat will uh, spawn you. Uh, in midair, from where the, the a really high point from where you're you're standing, and then you can fly, and you can actually fly quite far if you hold like back and just glide. Yeah. yeah, you can you can just fly if you play. Can you slow yourself down with the trees? Um, maybe, but if you vertically smack into the ground, you oh. should. Oh no! I did break go your neck down. And die. I, I didn't yeah. do it high enough. Is that the you beard should. providing cushioning? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think the beard. I think I impaled myself. Oh, oh and then hurt as well. 
That is one problem I have with Grand Theft Auto is it cuts away too early in the mm. ragdolls. I want to see them until they've completely you stopped moving. You want to see the beautiful... Yeah, ragdolling. the ballet that is me ragdolling. At I'm just imagining the people in this medical center are like, you, you again. You, again. <laughs> yeah. you were just here five <laughs> seconds ago. Customer. It's yesterday. the man that falls from the sky. They're like watching, they watch you leave and then place some sicky bombs on the floor and blow yourself up instantly <laughs> after leaving. So if you go and stand next to the military base and then Skyfall, can you... Is that uh, gonna work? Well, I was hoping. Do it, do it. Uh, let's invert, look quick. Oh. You can throw yourself into traffic. On oh, the yeah, way, I'll throw so. myself into traffic quick. Go on then. Uh, where's the car? They're never, they're never around when you need them. So, you know, if, you, really. so if you press X and then B, you'll do a, like, a little face plant. Oh, oh, tractor. X, B. <laughs> <laughs> I think, is that a car in the distance? There's not a lot of traffic oh, around here. No. But you are in some the worst, town. Um, worst place of traffic ever. So. Obviously, next-gen consoles are here, so we've had a good one. Um, in from a, can you pronounce that? <laughs> Dave, can uh, you not read this? Kevakazi. Okay, Kevakazi <laughs> said, uh, essentially, do you guys think the next-gen consoles uh, have games worth buying a next-gen console for this year, or do you see yourself waiting around until next year? Uh, I've pre-ordered mine. Um, Mainly because, I, again, as a car fan, I, like Forza 5 is quite exciting to me. But I really want to play the next-gen version of Watch Dogs. Like, I've been really excited about this game for two years. I don't want to play the current-gen version. I want to play the, the shiny, glossy version. Same with Assassin's Creed Black Flag. If there's a better-looking version of Assassin's Creed 4, I want to play that version. So uh, I think a lot of it's like it's not so much like first-party stuff, but it's the third-party stuff that is on next-gen is going to look great on those consoles, I think. But it's a lot of money, you know, and stuff like Titanfall oh, wow. isn't coming until 2014. But things I've been hearing about Dead Rising 3 as well, I'm now much more yeah, psyched yeah. for that game. Uh, so I'll be looking to pick that up as well. About Forza? Forza's, yeah, Forza's really, really exciting. I'm actually like quite impressed by how many new tracks there are in the game, because I, I was expecting with the next-gen one, they'd kind of just take a lot of content, recycle it for next-gen, and that would be seen as enough. But actually they're adding, you know, Spa, which is an amazing racetrack, Bathurst, which is an amazing racetrack, uh, the new version of Silverstone. They're, they're kind of, you know, they're, they're really working. Good. Getting there, we're getting there. This is amazing. Need to find Can a you jet. do it? Go, oh. man, go. Right, I'm going to face plant. Oh. Buzz the tower. The you oh, it's a light. It's a light. Get out. Oh. 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 Almost. Yeah. Yeah. I like to imagine oh, the guy yeah. in the tower okay. spilled his coffee yeah. on himself yeah. like in Top Gun. He's like, what the <laughs> hell is going on in there? <laughs> there is advice here saying go in the, f yeah, from Green, Green Day Tom D96 says, fast car straight through the front door, whiz past the tanks. Well, yeah, okay, like that makes plan. sense. Can you not steal the tanks and blow everything up and then slowly roll towards it? Yeah, I don't want to dispute the game, yeah. you can't Green get Day Tom. Awesome. Sure. Alright, this time for sure. For real. <laughs> like, back again, Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. F fell from the sky yeah, again. It's, uh, it's getting bad out there. Do tweet us on hashtag Artichow EG if you're on that Twitter thing and we'll look at that as well. And don't forget to subscribe to VG247 Eurogamer and Outside Xbox. Yes. Oh, oh do all that. <laughs> cab. I'm cabbing it over. And then I'll steal the cab. I'll invert it. <laughs> <laughs> right. See, with, uh, with Xbox One, I would hope that uh, when you grab the pad, it will remember your face and switch to invert or not uh, based on because it loads your profile in and you should be able to set a global setting for because yeah. there are definitely there are global pad settings on the Xbox 360 not a lot of people know it yeah, yeah, yeah. but you can go to your profile and set invert and it will automatically do it across all games so I'm hoping there'll be that kind of smart technology do you think, do you think secretly they'll just put it in that any inverted players just the yeah. concept the, the yeah, well, it stop working yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, laser beam will come out and connect and fry them because they don't deserve to live basically can't do that Dave where's my cab Oh, you got a cab there. Yeah. I'm going to quickly see if I can load a cheats page and see a cheat for a fast car. Okay. So, um, because I, I literally, <laughs> since the whole uh, 360 achievements thing, have never touched the cheat code for quite a while. Yeah, so it deactivates you know. the achievements yeah. when, during that session, doesn't yeah. it? Does I mean, it ruin you, um, like your save game? Like, I, think, I, think, it's no, I think, think when you reload it, it, it when goes you die, back to normal. It, okay. Is it not when you die, it, it starts again? I'm not it's sure. It's this anything. session, so I think it might be when you reboot the game. Mm. I don't know. It's lost me a few achievements, hasn't it? And what sort of, like, cheats are there? There's exploding fists, right? Yeah, Okay. Can, so um, it's just, is it essentially Saints Row? I think the point? cheat cheat codes basically do turn it into Saints oh, okay, Row, fine. essentially. Um, but, uh, but yeah. Get out of here. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want his cap. Is that flaming bullets? Wow, okay, like like that should sense. just be a thing. <clears throat> There's um, an amazing. Uh, so you got, you can lower and raise your wanted levels. 
you can run faster, swim faster, flaming bullets, explosive bullets, explosive melee attacks. Oh, the cool one, slow motion aim. So when you aim, it goes into kind of bullet time. Oh. So it, it, is, is it like Michael bullet time or is it slow? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's like that, that yeah. slow. Though. That's yeah. slow. It's, it's yeah. Brooks, Amazing. <laughs> That's the, kind of the level of special effects you can expect on it. We've got slow mo oh. just in that yeah. corner. Yeah, there's yeah, actually, it's just me there's actually some new ones. There's now moon gravity. I've not seen moon oh, gravity. Oh, yes. Um, so we should totally try that. We should try that in a sec. Yeah. Where's the front door? Is this car fast enough? <laughs> Is this? Sorry, for a minute then I thought the taxi driver was still driving. <laughs> <laughs> just drop me off around here, mate. I have <laughs> no idea where. Just, you know. The taxi driver had one. <laughs> look, look, look at the suspension on this car. It's unreal. <laughs> This will, this will cost you, mate. You know, this is actually uh, yeah. isn't oh, residential. It's a whole sunset. It is quite. Oh, don't do that. I will find the front door. There's something magic about um, I found with uh, TJ and Max Payne with uh, the cutscenes being in in game engine. engine. Yeah, yeah. And, I'm, like, I'm that whole pull away, and you're like, oh my god, I can actually play it. This yeah, is yeah, yeah. and there's amazing moments in Max Payne 3 that I remember where you're like. You're so like taken in by like the story or the cutscene, and then and then it kicks then, it all and then you're off. like, yeah. oh yeah, this is that how is it, this thing is that works. Is that bit in the, in the nightclub thing. where it's a cutscene that immediately turns into a gunfight and suddenly you're in control? Yeah, but, and um, you you knew up, yeah, you shot yourself because you don't think it's. I think the properly. I think the seamlessness of, of GTA Five is is amazing just yeah. in general. I mean, obviously it has the benefit of even on Xbox being a mandatory install to hard yeah. drive, so it can load a lot of that data a lot quicker than. Than it would if it was just a disc game, but um, it's still incredible. Like the missions just flow into each other. Like cutscenes are almost instant instantaneous, and it does that. It just seems to do that one loading right at the start. Yeah, and when that's it. it you're done. Story mode. You're, yeah, you're I think where you were like years ago, when you you know if you didn't have a hard drive, you couldn't do anything. Right, so. and you, you know yeah. I was playing Oblivion again you're recently, and it like, has to load some of the world in every so often if you run across it too too far. Where am I going? God, I don't know. Now. Uh, go. This is an awful right car. This is oh, a, okay. What? Um, nice. Wow, explodo just, just, car. Andy, did you refer to that car as fast? <laughs> I, I assumed it was fast. I thought it could probably take a rocket. That something. was a quick Ford Galaxy mm. right there. That's bad. Right, we had Should any questions in? Do you want to try, uh, try some moon gravity? Yeah, try moon gravity. Do Let's moon see gravity. That. So right, it's. Wait, um, let me just load in. Should we uh, switch we to someone else? I think Travis had enough. Yeah, so everyone's going. <laughs> try the low <laughs> gravity mode. Right. Excellent. <laughs> Sorry, Trev. So, question: Do you guys know if you can get a jetpack like in San Andreas? And that's from Green Day Tom D ninety six. I there don't. There was rumours that if you find all the spaceship parts, you could get a, a moon buggy thing, and then yeah. you could take it to the top of Mount Chiliad, and you'd see a spaceship, and then it would give you a jetpack. But I don't know if that was just. I've seen the, the car rumors. you get. It's got like neon trim. And yeah, stuff. the okay. buggy. I think it would make sense for that to be the case uh, because the jetpack was linked to the Area 51 mission in the original mm. San Andreas. But equally, that means it could just be a sort of rumor. Do you know what I mean? Like those, those yeah. things kind of spring up via connections that people have made in their own head. So I'm not I've, sure. Yeah, actually. I've not seen proof. I've only seen here. Mm. So. This is something that really annoys me about GTA 5. What, Franklin, having an awesome apartment? Franklin has gone and changed out of his outfit. That's one of the more tasteful things that Franklin wears, though, yeah. right? Like well, you were saying the other day that you'd like spent thousands of pounds yeah, on the, or well, dollars really on his suit, suit, and then he's just like he just wants to walk costumes. about in his. Michael yeah. does the same. He's always in shorts and flip flops. <laughs> <laughs> Have you yeah. ever uh, gone to uh, Trevor and he's just been in his pants and a t-shirt yeah. and and in bed with another man? <laughs> I've had that yeah, many yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's an amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he taps him on the back. He's like, "See you later." Yeah, man, that that is the one. He's, He's um, a cool character. He turns so up in a dress, doesn't he, at one point? Drunk in a dress. Yeah, like yeah, that, that is Trevor. So, yeah. Mm. Something, yeah, just get a nice coat on, some jeans. Skinny oh, jeans. Skinny, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Moon gravity. Right, okay. okay, so. This is something Andy um, feels very strongly about. So it's left on the D pad twice, and then yeah. LB, RB, LB, right, left, LB, left. That moon oh, yeah, there we go. Right. Launch yourself jump. somewhere. Activated the Just launch yourself off the edge of your balcony. Okay. Yeah, off your infinity pool. <laughs> oh, oh. No, okay. Oh, I've stacked the deck chairs. Ah, I know. You oh, just dived oh, into God. the infinity pool. Deactivated. Oh, man. Oh, okay. what? <coughs> let, me, let me do this. Okay. Right, what was it again? Uh, okay, left twice. L, B, R, B. L, B, right. Oh, wait, sorry. Left. I pressed the wrong button. Okay, left twice. Yep. L, B, R, B. L, B, right, left. L, B, left. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Go. Jump, jump, jump. Well, 
<laughs> okay. Right. That's right. That's I was expecting you to fly yeah, like six feet into the air. Uh, Can you vault that building? Oh, that's nice. Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to smear down the side of that stuco wall. Can you take like a car really, um, off a ramp and see if it... Yeah, it might affect the cars more than the people. Uh, good. Have you got the cheat for spawning a, um, a buzzard? A buzzard? Yeah. yeah. I will take a helicopter to the top of the skyscraper. Ah, uh, good, uh, good call. I will um, um, let the viewers know at home. Oh. Like every good after party, you know when the police turn up. Uh. Oh, yeah. Um, we've got security at the door at the moment, but we're working. We're working something out. Um, we don't know. Can we really just hide in an alley. Out. We could yeah, do. It works, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. It works in GTA. I need slightly more space. To my yeah. So I will just. Are you up in the Hollywood Hills? Yeah, yeah, I'm up in the Vinewood Hills. Nice. Which is where I live now. Uh, oh, this is a long ass road. All right. I'm I'm somewhat disappointed by moon gravity. I'm going to be honest. It's going to be cool when I jump off a skyscraper. Yeah. You'll change your tune there. Can you confirm that? Is it not just going to take you longer to hit the ground? Down. I wonder would it kill you because you're floating? Okay, let's let's just try spawning one here. Okay. We're good. Um, the after party's is, continuing, uh, everyone. RB, right. Yes. B. R T. Right. Eight p.m. L B. L T. And go on. A times two. X. R B. Oh, sh I read the wrong one. <laughs> that's, a, a that's a comet, mate. <laughs> okay, <right. laughs> okay, let's try that again. Where's that one gone? Uh, <laughs> we have got security knocking on the door. Now. Okay, Shotgun. so B twice, mm -hmm. LB, B three times, LB, LT, RB, YBY. Oh, can't uh, a vehicle here. Alright, let me get somewhere. I'm impressed okay. that you're able to replicate this That's just based on what Ian's saying at that speed. Yeah. I'd be like, <laughs> some kind of claw going on. This is a silver pad without the uh, colours, the buttons as well. Oh, oh yeah. That's nice. It's a swank silver pad. This car is very slow. Right. It's weighty, isn't it? Yeah. It weighs about two tonnes. Ian, why don't you tell us um, something you saw on the show today? Uh, so, I played well, I a bit somewhere. of Batman Arkham Origins. Ooh, How is that? Uh, it's, like, it's quite good, actually. It's Does a it match very big open world now. Yeah. It's Does it match the quality of a Rocksteady thing? That's what everyone wants to know. Really. So far it seems to, they've kind of taken everything Rocksteady's done and just kind of added more to it. Like um, with Gotham City now, uh, Gotham City's made out of two parts, North and South. I think it's South Park is like Arkham City. Right. Um, and it's modelled on Arkham City from the game Arkham City, but right. they've changed it a little bit and it's now well, it's not a super prison, and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and because uh, uh, it's set five years, before mm. the first game, I think, and uh, yeah, the the top half is a, a brand new part of uh, Gotham City. And it's powerful in size. Uh, it's twice as big as um, wow, okay. as uh, Arkham Asylum, oh, and okay. uh, the the Gotham City part is uh, that he said he's built loads of verticality into it, so there's loads of climbing up uh, fist fights on top of buildings and things like that. And they've got this great kind of uh, new detective mode where you scan something, and then. It play, say if uh, a helicopter's blown up, you can scan the wreckage of a helicopter and it'll show the helicopter going back in time. Like it kind like of tracks, trajectory of all yeah, the pieces. Yeah, it tracks all the pieces and then you can find a bit where a bullet's hit the helicopter oh, nice. and then it comes, cool. and then you can kind of find out who shot it by following That's the trajectories. Some, you, know, you know in like uh, crime dramas energy. where they just go zoom and enhance and they take so some like B2. blurry image and zoom LB. in and then like there's a crystal B3. clear face. That sounds like that kind of thing. That's where uh, I LB, L2. R B Y B Y. Oh, oh that's wow! But yeah, it's, it works kind You're of. The it works yeah. kind of well. Spawn it down that cliff. It yeah. works well when the developer. I want it was damaged me, anyway, now. It made me wonder because it was quite convoluted. It made me wonder if possibly people who are playing it are just going to be confused by it all because you have to follow each individual bit and then you can rewind and fast forward. Oh, so weird. A bit like Remember Me, where you can rewind and fast oh, forward. Oh yeah, and you've got to pick your way through. So yeah. you find a point where like a bullet's hit a helicopter and then you can trace the line of mm. the bullet. To the shooter of the gun, uh, well, that's kind of cool. And then I played, um, I played a 32-player match on uh, Battlefield, Battlefield 4. Yeah, good. My, um, Did you win on the conquest? Yes, my that's team won. I can. That's um, that's, um, <laughs> that's pretty my good. My team won, so that's Pretty respectable. Oh, oh, he's gone down. <laughs> <laughs> he won't be getting up for a while. There you go. Okay, he's all right. Salem, we got, we got. Battle. Walk it off, buddy. I will do this before we have to get off air. It's a race against time. Run, man, run. What exactly are you going to do with the buzzard? You're going to take him to the top, to of, the, the top of the, the maze, maze bank tower. tower it's going to oh. Right, okay. I think we've uh, probably got a good amount of time left on us. 
is, um, I, I feel we haven't got anywhere by this point. We've blown up a lot of times. We haven't done anything major. That's the GTA experience. Yeah, yeah. that is the GTA experience. <laughs> what, what, doubt? And yeah, just blowing stuff up. Yeah. Um, not so much as that. Uh, we played a game called Mason Briggs and the Mask of Death. How is that? Really? It looks... It's full of explosions. Pretty, it's Marlo, um, Marlo Briggs. Marlo Briggs. It looks pretty black. Even I can't remember the name. He's got the <laughs> least memorable name of any character. But there's a video on the Outside Xbox channel of us playing that, and it was... It was ridiculous. It was entertaining because it was so silly. I mean, it's it's somewhat tongue in cheek. But is it um, better than the Turtles game? Yeah, it's better much than better than the Turtles game. game. Yeah, in terms of explosions per minute, yeah. it's yeah. Uh, pretty good value. Mm, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and, and yeah, it doesn't take itself too seriously, but everything you touch explodes pretty much. Um, <laughs> yeah, really he's, he's a man so like a King Midas of explosions. Yeah. He's a man who gets killed by a magic scythe. Right. Yeah. And <laughs> Within the first two minutes. Yeah. Or so. Again, and not spoiler. Like that gives him magic scythe powers. Oh, yeah. And, uh, he uses his magic scythe to make things explode. Yeah. Um, so watch that video if you're at all. Because basically, this is a game that came out two days after or three days after GTA V. So no one knows yeah. it exists. Right. Finally. Um, <laughs> no one knows it exists. No one's bought it. Mm -hmm. But and you're probably not going to buy it. So you might as well watch the video instead. And watch things explode. <laughs> You've got nothing else better to do. <laughs> well, once this, once this, uh, we see these amazing stunts and stuff, people will want more of Andy's excellent playing skills. Yeah, right. So Amazing. we're going to be doing this after show party tomorrow as well, aren't mm, we? Same yes. time, same place? Same, same time, same, same place. Batman. Yeah. Same bat channel. Yeah. <laughs> um, but do, do, you, do um, tune into our, our Splunky thing at 5pm, which will be on the Eurogamer channel. Same as the developer sessions, uh, it'll be being streamed there. So that should be, be exactly fun. as worthwhile as a developer session. Yeah, <laughs> you're, as exactly as informative. Yeah. You'll learn all about how terrible we are at Splunky. But also, if you're coming tomorrow and you're in the studio audience, you could actually take part in the stream as well. Don't, try and yeah. try and beat Mike's Splunky time. This thing. How many so lives do you get? Do you get any you, lives? There's, there's uh, four, four bits of health you start with, and if you die, you are out. You're out. But we're expecting a lot of deaths, so don't feel ashamed if you're not very good at Splunky. Go, probably. It depends yeah, it depends on how many people turn up. Uh, we will, um, I might pop in and see if I, I'm pretty bad. You can have a go, but you're not allowed the trophy. Because yeah. that would be like nepotism. Oh, that's true, yeah. 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 Ian, step away. Yeah. Is there any point in competing? I won't, I won't. Let's just don't do it. Um, so, what are you hoping to see tomorrow, guys? <laughs> I'm, tomorrow. Oh, I, I'm quite keen to um, take another look at the crew. That's kind of interesting. Not the most exciting uh, handling model in racing games, but the ambition of making the entirety of the US. Uh, in a driving yeah. game, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. It takes two hours to drive across. That. That's crazy, yeah. So they're one of the biggest games of all game like the real US. Yeah. Um, I should I'm mention by this point the only thing I played is Titanfall. That's fine. It's that's probably really the best Did you thing. Enjoy yeah. it? Was it good? It was great, except for I was playing for everyone who was touring with Titanfall, so I was dying quite a lot. But <laughs> that game is just awesome. Um, I also like. I was here before the show was open, and then. A nosy round, and obviously saw the Battlefield boys on Xbox One, and mm. I was like, "Oh, that's interesting. Yes, yeah. That is cool. Yeah, you can see the consoles, but yeah, yeah, like they, stuff. you could, you could see the UI of the debug and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, control. That's pretty legit, legit mm. Xbox but, One, um, right here at Eurogamer no, Expo. Franklin has the worst flying skills out of the three. There's the blimp. Can you land on the blimp? Drop the man Someone on the blimp. Someone asked this earlier. Like, this, can you please. land on the blimp? Drop okay, the you man you on the blimp. You want me to try and land on the blimp? Yeah, with moon gravity. Okay. Jump out of the helicopter, yeah, land on the blimp. Okay, I'm going to get above the blimp and then aim at the blimp. And, the blimp. <laughs> and Franklin, come on. Yeah. <laughs> this will be a glorious sign off uh, if you can manage this. Where is the blimp? It'll be a glorious sign off. Oh, it's gone. Blimp. The blimp has vanished. Blimp. It's a ghost blimp. Oh, oh my oh, god. No, oh, not the ghost, ghost blimp. blimp. Oh, it's. Oh. I hate the ghost blimp. A mysterious um, haunted blimp. Oh. Just because I think it, it is somewhat entertaining because it's scary. Can we um, <laughs> get that jumbo jet? Yeah, where is it? So if you go to the um, Santos airport, go so to the actual airport, go that way. and uh, like bottom left. Yeah. When I went there, I didn't even get the police on me. Like, I literally just drove in, and they were like, they're oh, normally go like for it. hanging around the terminal building. So, so what? by the runway? Uh, uh, sort of yes, you'll see it. Yeah. It's a Fly yeah. US yeah. plane. Right. Oh, have you got your back, uh, jet? Jet? What am I on about? Do I have a parachute? Yeah, parachute. No. Supposedly. You, but you, you said that about Trevor. Foolproof tactic for surviving <laughs> people. The foolproof tactic that's not working. Well, you yet. don't need this anymore. <laughs> let's just see if you do or do not. Right, well, let's just assume I've got a parachute. Okay, let's assume that. <laughs> okay, let's head over there. What, it's so well last time. Right. Well, Ian, what are you having to see tomorrow? Uh, I've got uh, an uh, interview with uh, the people behind Murdered Soul Suspect. Oh, yeah. So that's that's an interesting one for me. I want to I, I wanna see how that works. Because... From first glances, it, it 
not really grabbing me as a game that will be amazing. You can walk through yourself. You can walk through yourself. Yeah, 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 well. I did actually anything. get a photo of myself done on mm. the Murdered Soul Suspect thing, so I'll mm. show you guys that tomorrow during the stream. It's like a cross but between L.A. Noir and Ghost Trick, if you played that. Mm. Okay. I think it sounds interesting. Yeah. It's like novel, it's a new IP, right? We don't get a lot of, a lot of new... That's true. It's doing something things. interesting as well, which is... But it's cool. competing with next-gen noise and things like but that. But I've, I've not had a hands-on with it yet, and I've not really seen it. It's like Titanfall. I was a bit yeah. like, oh, another futuristic shooter. And then I played it, and I was like, this is, this is freaking awesome. So yeah. hopefully they can sway me tomorrow. Yeah. Titanfall um, is definitely a game that doesn't really necessarily sell itself when you just watch it, mm. but everyone I know who's played it says it's incredible. It just yeah. controls so well, the ability to double jump and bounce off the walls. Mm. It, within two minutes, I was like flying around up on top of buildings and stuff. It was great. I think um, you should take the dive now. Okay, let's go. Yes, I've got a parachute. Oh, I love this stuff. Oh, I love it. I love it when I dive out. Why of do they play so much when they're parachute. falling? Come on, Frankie, get under control. Get well, let's, let's be honest. It's like, like watching Mike, if, you were, if you were to jump, <laughs> jump out of any sort of uh, flying vehicle, <laughs> I think I'd flail for it. Well, if I had a parachute and knew I wasn't going to splat, uh, that really is true. Hard, but like I think at first you'd think, oh, shit! Come on, Frankie. I think it's this moon gravity, we're gently floating oh, to Earth like a... Oh yeah, this could be like... This could That's true, this is going to take a while, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I deactivate moon gravity? We'll still be here at 7 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, well, we'll be here a while. Right, deactivate moon gravity. Yeah, can you do a barrel Left twice. Yeah. LB, RB, LB, right, left, LB, left. Yes. Yes. There we go. Now we're going to control. Yes! Less flailing as well. He looks more oh, like yeah. a pro. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got one arm in the air. The fall is under control now. I can. Die. Have you got smoke? Uh, I don't think I've got smoke. You can. You have smoke. Explain. Well, there's. You can, you can get smoke. Oh, it's when you, is it when you activate parachute. the parachute you can get the smoke? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Naturally. Does it come out of? His the parachute. I can sandwich. see. Uh, That's I can see where it, it comes out of. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Definitely not Franklin's bum, <laughs> which is <laughs> what you were implying. Okay, hey, I wanted okay, Franklin's bum to smoke. Go. You're like James Bond. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. You could have left that nice. for another like 50 feet. Stick the landing. Right, there's the jet. <laughs> so it's the Fly US ones you're after. Uh, it works with any of them. Any of them, as long as you stand I, near the landing. Yeah. Well, no, this is the thing. It, I tried and it didn't work. Yeah, man. Yes. Oh, I've been in one of the yellow. I've been in one of the yellow ones. Oh, yeah. Fly what's it like one. inside? Uh, I don't know. Go. Same as the other one. <laughs> Steel jet. Wait, how do I get in there? Get, stand by the front. Yeah, stand, press Y by the front landing gear. Oh, that's too. Yeah, that's too. Yellow one. Try the yellow one. Yeah, yeah, that looks big enough. Run, run, run. So Chad Brew is asking if there's a Batmobile in Arkham Origins. There is not a Batmobile in Arkham Origins, but you can use the Bat Wing. I think there is a Batmobile. In oh, is there? Got to assume the there is one. You can use the Bat Wing as a fast travel thing. I knew there was one Bat vehicle as a fast travel. Right. Right. Uh, Semi seventy four says brilliant video of Marlow Briggs game. Oh, Thank good. Glad you enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> what do you guys think of the GTA microtransaction stuff? Uh, uh, yeah. Which one? Psych 360. One, massive I think one with the, on your with right. the microtransaction thing, it's, it's, it's going to take time to get to the point where you would get if you spent a lot of money this on one? microtransactions. Oh, yeah. But everything yeah, is available. Oh. Everything can be unlocked if you're I, if you play the game normally. And this is a game we're going to be playing for six months to a year, nice GTA mm. Online. So yeah. I'm not too worried about it. If people want to shortcut that stuff and get the apartment mm. and get the big garages and things like that, that's fine, but I'm just going to play it straight and kind of work my way up because I know there's going to be enough in that game to keep me interested for six months. So, so I've, I've never bought anything with microtransactions hey, hey, hey. before, yeah. and uh, you know, I, I don't think I'm going to start Back with the GTA. It's, they're, they're there if you want to use them, mm. but you know, oh. if you don't want to use them, I don't Crazy. think it's, gonna, it's not going to... And you know what, if you get six months down the line and you've been thoroughly loving GTA and you're, you, know, you just want a bit of a bump, then uh. you're probably prepared to pay like, what is it, 13 quid as the top? Maybe 14 so, yeah. quid for the top amount of money that you can buy in one go you might want to spend that anyway and think well I've had 14 quid's right. worth of mm. entertainment from that game do you know what I think it's, you, you realise it's GTA and then you think I'd probably Yo! pay I think it's going to be huge <laughs> I, well, I, you're the one that spent about I £100 pounds on Simpsons what put it yeah, this I, way I, I, I would have been upset if there was a subscription person. for it I would have been sad if it was subscription based and you know and, and more like free with its monetary system mm. I'd rather play it for free and I think it's going to be massive so. how about you Jane 
microtransactions. Yeah, honey. Boo, product. right? That's um, the party line <laughs> on, <laughs> on microtransactions. No, like you say, if they're going to keep it going uh, yeah, indefinitely, then they're going to need a way to finance it. I mean, yeah. I believe they've. Oh. Can't really see what's going on. use that billion dollars. Yeah, I was going to say, I believe they've made some quantity of money yeah. from a little game called Grand Theft Auto V, but. Uh, I mean, if they are going to support it, and you, and you want them to support it in a big way. Yeah, right, for 10 years. And it, it's all about implementation, isn't it? Microtransactions are in themselves yeah. not evil or, or good, but no. we've seen them implemented in, in such a shoddy really way bad. so often. Right. But if anyone's going to pull them up, pull it off, you mm. know, you would hope Rockstar? I mean, not that they've got a great deal of experience no. with microtransactioning things, mm. but, you know, they're, they're smart people. Yeah. They didn't, they didn't make GTA V you know, by they accident. Don't need to, they don't need to go aggressive on them because everyone's going to be playing yeah. them. And you only need a very, very small fraction of your audience paying for things yes. to make a ton of money yeah. if, if you've got an enormous That's the, the freemium model. You need 5% of yeah. your people. And 5% of everyone who's bought GTA 5 is plenty yeah. of people. Right. So, so, exactly. 500 million pounds. Which 500 million pounds. Imagine that on the table. I can't. So I'd just be swimming <laughs> like, in it. I don't know what that through. looks like. Um, but I, I, find I don't know my, what 500 like, million people look like. For example. <laughs> <laughs> no your brain can't comprehend no, no. that kind <laughs> of scale. Basically, you struggle with any number over about a thousand. <laughs> yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. Um, but uh, my my enthusiasm okay. for Elder Scrolls Online has been dampened by the fact that it has a fifteen dollar a month subscription, right? Oh, really, like, it's monthly subscription. Yeah, yeah. Elder Scrolls that. Online, which fe seems like a step backwards, you know. Yeah. It's um, a very old-fashioned way yeah, of doing that's it. Sort of yeah, especially after so Old I'm Republic. If applied that to this, and I probably would have paid it for this. But mm. you know, the one game you would have played your yeah. monthly subscription for. Um, we've got uh, Green Day Tom D96 back Hello. again, back saying, guy. "Have you got the Puncher Shark achievement? I tried this." And I got eaten, oh. so I think I wound up at the wrong time, mistimed it, and then just got, got right. chomped on. Has anyone either. got it? No, no. Not me. I haven't even seen a shark. Oh, you just have to um, just swim out far enough, or take a jet ski out right. far enough, and, and then one will start circling shark? you. Is that possible with the shark <laughs> coming behind you? I haven't tried. Down the plane. Okay, you got All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Fly your ass, you know. Uh, ignore the fact that there's a car here. Yeah, you need to be able so to stand underneath the thing. Yeah, this is the one, right? Do it. Do it. Yes. Instant boarding. So when I got in it, I was so shocked that I forgot the police are after me, and it takes forever to move it in. Yeah, you've got to back it up, but as soon as you really start going forward, it goes fast. It, it goes for it, and then you realise, actually, I need a really big runway to put it off the ground, because it gets All right, proper. gun it. Now use the, the police the Use the rudders. Like, yeah, yeah, that's you're fine. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Okay. Uh, well, I don't... I've been through flight school. I can... I can so, like, rudder left a bit, so you can kind of get onto the runway? Yeah. Doing it, we're going for it. Oh, that's a bump. I don't like bumps. That's a it's wide big. <laughs> Oh, this looks done fine. It, it. We just use the middle road. As it yeah, yeah, yeah use the middle road. That's that. This is how planes take off, right? <laughs> like big. Oh, oh she rides. Oh, yeah. Wow. Right now, and it's gone. Oh, now this is the beautiful <laughs> thing about this game. You know, you, you know when you're <laughs> you know when you're driving a car, and you accidentally press press the cinematic button. Right. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, I thought you'd fall yeah, yeah, I thought no. that helicopter So um, I, I, I tend to get it really high and then do a barrel roll and it, it's enough to make, I think, everyone on board, including yourself. So you were this. bragging that you're really good at landing these planes, Sam? No, I'm not. I'm not <laughs> no, I said I couldn't land it because it blew up. I know. So if I give it a go, come on. Like, moment what, of glory. We need to wind this thing up. Let's, uh, let's see you land let's this see. plane. Okay, this is... What's, what's the, um, what do you call it? your destination. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you get the GPS out where you're <laughs> flying a plane, yeah. right? Just kind of... Nah, it's fine. Nah. There's a runway. Like, you could, you could try and land it back at Los Santos. Um, nice, easy target. Predator. No, yeah, let's land it there. Or land it in the army base and then see how it goes. <laughs> oh, no, because you'll get No, because then you'll blow it up. Yeah. Although I don't think, you know, anti aircraft would like to take that big plane like this. Right. How many souls on board? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Too many. My own. <laughs> uh, Samey Samey seventy four says is Andy completely drunk or what? Andy Andy come over here. Oh wow. Not as completely drunk as we'd like to. Um, yeah, not not completely drunk. I mean, it, I think the moon gravity was probably uh, helping with that assumption. But uh, well, I've not even had one beer. Okay. We, this is terrible. You, you, about you can be video game drunk. You know how video game characters always get drunk on one beer. Yeah, true. If I were a GTA character, I would be drunk on the amount. Oh, oh, nice! Do a barrel roll! Do another one! Nice one, Fox McCloud. That's fast. Oh. Now you need to pull up! Oh, oh no, I feel sick. <laughs> 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 Land it on the freeway. Land it on the freeway. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. 
landing gear down. No, because I don't want it to blow up. And it, it will, will probably up. blow up. I did actually have the wheels down the entire time then. Oh. That's probably not Poor a good idea. Pilot tree. Pilot tree. What film is on board? I think. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. This is the important thing. Yeah, I know. The guru of grunge says the shark achievement is for being eaten by uh, a shark. Oh, that would explain why I didn't get it because I had uh, cheats enabled at the same oh, time. I just remembered. Fist, I was trying yeah, to explode shark. a shark with an explosive punch, right. and that when it ate me, awesome. I guess that's why I didn't get an achievement for yeah. it. He says. Yeah. Then he says, although going down with a bit of fisticuffs wouldn't be the worst idea. Yeah. Right. Going right. out with a that's not how every shark film ends with a shark exploding. <laughs> that's no, what, do that's exploding what fists even work underwater? I mean, I know, it depends if they've got their own oxygen is supply. Is everyone who's watching this in their head they've got buy a ticket to somewhere for five nine nine, and then the plane's barrel rolling. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we have the most entertainment. <laughs> I'm never flying on Capiera so Airways. Just okay, a vomit sorry. party inside the. I'm inside. hearing that British Airways operatic theme yeah. right now. Yeah, exactly. What, 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 yeah, what do you say? Proud, proud to serve. Proud to never employ sound players. Yeah, exactly. Look at those jets. So they are beautiful. Nice. You're doing a lot of admiring and not a lot of landing. Yeah, well, you're going so the wrong way. Because, no, because you need a, 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 a need a, oh, you need you a need big, big run-up, run right? Okay. Things you won't notice. Okay, we're gonna get the brakes on. Oh no, we're not. Giant plane. <laughs> is yeah. it? Oh, is it? Oh my god! I've just, right, just woken go. up. Okay, right, where is it? Where is this plane? We're approaching some. Okay, so it's over there, so I need to pick a right. Right? Uh, just down the <laughs> no. It's like on top of the mountain. Land, land, land on the water, yeah. Land, oh, yeah. I'm control like that awesome thing. guy who landed that plane oh, in New York. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. that's how it's basically. KC, whatever's name. Okay, excuse me, guys, that's the road I've got. I'm saying that on board as well. Either you're going to land this or you're going to run out of fuel and fall out of the sky. I will never run out of fuel. I always come with my own jerry can full of fuel, you know, fly up. So head out and refuel it in mid flight. It's like, um, it's like Father Ted. There it is. There, okay, that, we're going to... The, loop the approach loop angle looks good. Can, you go right can I loop the over? loop? Are we... Yeah. 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 Okay. Is that called a Himmelman or is it? Yeah. Well, that's where you Himmelman the turn, yeah. yeah. The, uh, okay, I need to take a turn again because I kind of missed it, so... That's from Drunk Nuggy. Um, I don't think I've got enough. I, I don't think I've got enough. <laughs> I don't even think it. Land it! Oh, yeah. Somewhere! <laughs> Can you bail out of it at like six foot up? And then and then that's yeah, a safe yeah. landing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Woo! Shame about everyone on board! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. okay, we're get, we're getting a bit low now. Yeah. Land it. No, yeah. no, no, no. Oh dear! Whoa. That's not a runway, that's a mountain! <laughs> <laughs> okay, we, we, okay, we're coming around, uh -huh. coming around, and I'm at Very a good height. Height? <laughs> at altitude. <laughs> I haven't been to pilot school. Okay, we're coming for yeah. it. Okay, here we go. Okay, I can see it there. The there we go. There it is. That, that's it. All right. Okay. Okay, we're coming in at an angle. Remove all headphones, turn off okay. all electronic devices. Flight attendants, take your seats. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we can. Oh, flying 20 up. Okay, Ooh, that's nice. why it's so difficult. Yeah, that's what you need. Okay, okay, so. He's when slowing down. Really well for like when do I kill the brakes? Put like the landing gear out. Slow down, slow down. Yeah. The landing gear is down. Oh, cool, okay. Angle slightly further down. Yeah. This looks good. Oh, it's, it's like good. It's a good approach. Like no, good. I don't think it is. Yeah, What's wrong with you? It's fine. Okay. More rudder, more rudder to the left. Oh god, watch the wing, watch the wing. No, that's good, that's good, that's good. Oh, one, one. Yeah, that's it. Break, 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 break. What were you afraid of, Sam? Oh, yeah. Well done, Sam. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived in. Yeah, exactly. Which we can't even turn around in. Look at that. Try and park it in this little play garage. Just nose it in. So yeah, Green say, Day Tom <laughs> and Ethan Kostabi, they were wrong. They predicted impending death. Oh. No. So you did it. How you like us I, now? I, 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 I didn't think you did it. All right. Good, good All right. So. Cool. So I think that's probably us for today. Mm -hmm. But thank yeah, you very much for joining night. us, taking the time out to uh, watch Sam um, almost I land the plane. Oh, I'm walking off. <laughs> you need an explosion <laughs> in the <laughs> background yeah. now. Make it Michael uh, Bay. Stick it on. All right. But please do join Go us tomorrow, 5 p.m. for the Spelunky. Uh, <laughs>
live stream yeah, and 7 p.m. for this uh, nonsense again. again. Yeah. And don't forget to subscribe to Outside Xbox, Eurogamer and VG247. We've got awesome video content every day on all three channels. Mm. Like oh, yeah. Yes. Nice. yeah. All right. Did you this let the show party, everybody? <laughs> Disembark. <laughs> First one. <laughs> Your passengers are a woman and a dog. Oh, okay. God. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Come on, man. Come on, man. Wow. Come on. What, what an end. Uh, All right. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah. See you tomorrow, guys. Good night. Bye. Bye. Oh. Oh. Sad times. I think that's how you end it. And he gets arrested, yeah, in the yeah. end. So of course. Like, um, no. oh, oh, we're still going. Still going. Still going. Okay. Still I'm still waving. Bear with them. All right. I'm going to jump into Sam's seat. Oh, is it really? All right. Uh, we're still here for a little bit while we work out how to turn the stream off. <laughs> yeah. All streaming, that's all cool. the time. We'll be better. Sam was too busy doing his victory lap of the building. <laughs> we'll to, be uh, better turn tomorrow. Off the stream. He's taking his shirt off. He's helicoptering you around. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's not all he's helicoptering. Oh. <laughs> oh <God. laughs> the images they right. burn. Okay, right. thank you very much, we'll everybody. See you bye. See you soon. Bye. bye. That camera, bye. That one. Oh, bye. that one now. No, that one. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Sam doesn't know how to do it.